So I love movies and there's a ton of movies that have been highly recommended that I haven't seen. So today I am watching the 1974 film Young Frankenstein. I'm very excited to watch this. It's been on my watch list for a really long time. So I'm so glad I get to share this first time watching with you. I know it's a Mel Brooks film and I love the movies of his that I've seen. I've seen Spaceballs and I really love his style of humor. So I'm very excited to watch this. I know it's going to be more of like a horror comedy. I'm not expecting, you know, like an edgy or seed thriller it's Mel Brooks so I'm definitely expecting a lot of comedic elements I have seen the original Frankenstein the 1931 movie so you can check out that reaction video on my channel as well I haven't seen Bride of Frankenstein or any of the other Frankensteins I don't know the cast or anything like that I'm assuming this will be a parody version of Frankenstein so I'm really looking forward to watching it but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Oh, it's in black and white? Okay. I guess the original one was in black and white as well. That makes sense. I'm very excited to watch this. I can't wait to just laugh for the next 90 minutes, whatever this is. Gene Wilder, shut the front door. Willy Wonka himself is in this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <music> Cloris Leachman, really? Okay, <laughs> interesting. <music> Original Frankenstein library equipment? What? Laboratory equipment? Oh man, that's crazy. I noticed a character named Elizabeth, and there was an Elizabeth in the first one as well, so... <laughs> Screenplay by Gene Wilder and Mel Brooks. Yes. Oh, it's based- okay, yeah, based on the novel. I still haven't read the novel. Oh, man. I know the original one was based on the novel as well. Yeah, I'm curious if it'll be any references to the Frankenstein movie, or if uh, it'll just be off the book, or a combination of both. I'm guessing if it's young Frankenstein, it'll be before he becomes Frankenstein. Part. The upper portion of the stem of the brain can be seen. Yeah, I remember this. They were like good brain and a bad brain in the first one. And then he comes in and steals the wrong brain. Question, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. Oh, okay. <laughs> My name, it's pronounced Frankenstein. Okay, is that to avoid copyright? Just that distinction. Why don't we proceed? Always good to have a gong. Okay, so he's related to Victor Frankenstein? Okay. He began to move with a voluntary motion. Are you speaking of the worm or the spaghetti? <laughs> I was kind of wondering that too. But what about your grandfather's work, sir? My grandfather's work was doo doo! Is that your professional opinion? Sit in death! The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life! Oh, God. Just stabbed himself in the leg. <laughs> play cool, play cool. <laughs> is uh, dismissed. It's like, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> I hope you like old-fashioned weddings. I prefer old-fashioned wedding night. <laughs> oh, my. So spicy. Well, hurry now, before I make a fool of myself. Oh, the nails! Oh. Sorry. Such a romantic goodbye. <laughs> Bumping elbows. Oh my. <laughs> Just like, don't ruin my lipstick or my hair or my dress. Transylvania next The same guy. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein. Oh my. Frederick. Well, why isn't it Frodrick Frankenstein? It is. You got a point there. You must be Igor. No, it's pronounced Igor. <laughs> they told me it was Igor. Well, they were wrong then. <laughs> Allow me, master. Oh, thanks very much. If he doesn't give him a sock and sets Dobby as a free elf by the end of this. Walk this way. 
This way. It's like you take my cane. <laughs> you walk like me. Oh, man. Oh, that'll be Inga. Herr Falkstein thought you might need a laboratory assistant temporarily. A giant cart that he has to climb into. Oh, my. <laughs> Just a giant, like, basket of hay to pick him up. Werewolf! Werewolf? There! <laughs> what knockers! There's definitely no shortage of dirty jokes in Mel Brooks movies, that's for sure. I am Frau Blucher. Oh my. Blucher! <laughs> He's like, if I just say the word. Does her name, like, mean something in German that's like a horse command or something? Why were they freaking out? I don't know. Stay close to the candles. The staircase can be treacherous. <laughs> like deadpan approach. Oh, man. So funny. We'll see. Good night. Yeah, he wants nothing to do with this, like, family legacy. He's trying so hard to be a... Andy before retiring. Oh, my. So it spicy? Some warm milk? Perhaps? <laughs> She's just like moving back and forth. No thanks. Ovaltine. Oh, that chocolate milk. She's kissing his picture? Oh my. Put the candle back! She's holding it still. Oh. oh, and that's how he goes. Whoa, see you later. All right. <laughs> and I'll block the bookcase with my body. It just spins. Oh, oh God, that would hurt so much. Oh, God, I get crushed. Now listen to me very carefully. <laughs> Now he's locked her behind there. Oh my god. Put the candle! <laughs> now we've got the same problem all over again. We know lightning and Frankenstein. Yeah, those go well together. Oh god. It's just all the like different Frankensteins that died and how long they've been dead. I'm Freshly dead. <laughs> I love him. He's insane. And I just followed it down. Call it a hunch. <laughs> Two nasty looking switches over here, but I'm not going to be the first. I don't blame him. Those like, uh... oh, now you've done it. In your eyes. Too late. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very curious. It said uh, original Frankenstein equipment, so comment below is this the actual like sets they used in the first one? That would be insane. Look! Look at this! How I did it. A <laughs> very creative title. Oh my. Upon lifeless matter! It's alive! It's alive! Cuts! What? Yes! Oh, now he believes? Oh, God. Oh, God. They did use to steal bodies in the first one, so... Could be worse. How? Could be raining. Ah, you've done it. Yeah, exactly. Cue the lightning. Yeah, of course. Need a hand? <laughs> the literal jokes. You were here? Well... I'm Constable Henry, sir. Pleased to meet you. He's gonna shake his hand with the dead guy's hand. A yes. little nip from the old bottle wouldn't be too bad either, would it, sir? Hey, let's check it. <laughs> it's your service, sir. Always. Oh, God. Using the dead body hand as his own. Oh, my gosh. Didn't you used to have that on the other side? What? Your, uh... Oh, his hump has moved sides. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hans Delbruck. 
Yeah, he's doing exactly what his grandfather was doing. Slip brains through slot and door. Oh my god, I love it. So ridiculous. Yeah, that would make it so easy to break in also. Scientist and saint. Oh yeah, then will he get the right brain or the wrong brain? This is what happened last time. I love how he keeps breaking the fourth wall. It's like the audience. Yep, there we go, the abnormal one. Do not use this brain. Mine. He's a flag of kite. Oh my gosh. Do you understand? I understand, I understand. <laughs> Yes, Doctor. Elevate me. Oh, my. That's one way to put it. Obvious <laughs> nature herself! I love Gene Wilder. I, he's, I think he's so good for this role, just being this crazy madman. Throw the third switch! Not the third switch! <laughs> my creation! their way instead of saying it's alive. Son of a bitch! <laughs> He's like, you know what? On second thought. <laughs> Quiet dignity and grace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Should have listened to his own advice there. <laughs> A wooden hand or something? What are we doing? Touched your food. There. Oh my god, he's literally touching his food. Yeah. What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? Why don't you get out of there? Give someone else a chance. <laughs> Just thinks his dad would yell at him, not relevant to the situation at all. He's like, that was very unhelpful. Thank you. Poor lifeless Hulk. Maybe it is better off dead. We all know that's not the case, though, of course. Get to come to life. Da, 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 da. I feel like that was the first one as well, like the shot of just a hand moving on the table. What is this? Schwarzwald or Kirschtort? I'm unfamiliar. I didn't make a yummy sound. I just asked you what it is. But you did. I just heard it. A yummy sound. <laughs> Frankenstein's. Oh, shoot. The monster's alive and he's making yummy sounds. <laughs> alive. It's alive. Yes. It's alive. Yes. Such a great line. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. He hates fire. Give him the watch. Give him the watch. <gasps> Three syllables. <laughs> Playing charades. <laughs> oh, Sid! 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 They're just choking him. They're trying to guess. <laughs> Strange choices, indeed. Sid! Dirty word! He said a dirty word! <laughs> there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Sid, I give! <laughs> It's like, why would you think that's what I'm saying? <laughs> Igor, <clears throat> may I speak to you for a moment? <laughs> Abby someone. Abby who? Abby normal. <laughs> Abnormal, yeah. Inch white <clears throat> gorilla! Basically, yes. Where are you going? To wash up. I've got to look normal. We've all of us. <laughs> His tie just opened on its own. Now it's a Frankenstein residing in this house. As long as he doesn't take the monster to any, you know, visit any ponds. Oh my gosh, just cheats, put them all in. <laughs> Makes the throwing sounds. Mm, well, you might say, but this is Transylvania. Yelling so he misses every time. Oh my. Frankenstein! <laughs> So juvenile, but I love it. Set by this discussion? Not in the least. <laughs> she's stealed like every scene that she's been in so far. She's stolen the show. Not 
Not this one. He is as gentle as a lamb. <laughs> gentle as a lamb. I'm not afraid. I know what he likes. <laughs> oh, a little violin music to calm the beast. Okay, here we go. Play that music in the middle of the night. Yes! To get us into the laboratory. <laughs> the dramatic. And it was you who left my grandfather's book out for me to find. Yeah! <laughs> he was my boyfriend! Oh, shoot! <laughs> Again, I hate doors. Oh, out into the rain. We've got to find him before he kills someone. What? Hopefully not a little girl by a lake. Oh, God in heaven! What have I done? Will he find his way to a windmill? Uh, where's he gonna go? Oh, no, 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 no. Too soon. I'm not ready. Oh, dear. Nothing left. What shall we throw in now? Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't say those words. Who didn't look upstairs? Sit down. On a seesaw? Oh, my God. It's not gonna be much fun for Helga. <laughs> Flies into her room. Perfect. <laughs> like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, Helga would have been stuck up there for a long time. <laughs> Pass a few short hours in my lonely life. <laughs> I'll ask and you shall receive. Here you go. You've got a monster. Mm. Oh, he's blind? And it's frozen, my child. How does a nice bowl of soup sound to you, huh? Mm. <laughs> First meal, nice bowl of soup. Have a little kindness from a stranger. Are you ready for your soup? Mm. And he's just got a zipper on his neck. Oh my gosh. You don't know what your visit means to me. How long I've waited for the pleasure. <laughs> he's trying to catch it. Oh God. Just poured hot soup in his lap. Oh God. This is a horrible game. Catch the soup. <laughs> Oh, he can't even, like, he doesn't have words, so he can't even say anything. Mm, good. Now he's got hot soup lap. <laughs> That's a mess. No. Don't inhale until the tip glows. Gonna burn his thumb off. Oh my god. He's just setting his thumb on fire. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I hate these games you play with me. But... And he very much hates doors. The door to monster ratio, monsters winning like 100 to 1. Where are you going? I was gonna make espresso. That would have been. To stay away from hot liquids, maybe, you know? Stick with water. Don't be me. This poor guy. Let me out. Let me out. You just said, you just said, no matter how much you beg, not to let you out. Open this goddamn door, I'll kick your rotten heads in! <laughs> He's like, he just needs some love. Hello, handsome! He's like looking around. He's like, are you talking to me? Oh my. Reverse tactics here. <laughs> this is a nice boy. <laughs> He's like, he just needs some love. That's all it is. Is Frankenstein! Da, 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 da. That's right, it is. <laughs> Startling new experiment in reanimation. Oh my, one night only. Bucharest Academy of Science. It's like, well, I gotta take this thing on the road. You know, everybody needs to see the great work I did. Friedrich von Frankenstein. Everybody's like, we know that name and we are not clapping. He's so handsome. <laughs> gives him a candy. He's like, good job. You did your tricks well. Good job. Cultured, sophisticated, man about town. <laughs> All right, here we go. Quick costume change, I imagine, as well. Yeah, they put him in a suit. Oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Different types of wear. It's just such those, those notes, you know, like a real songbird, this guy. Gave him one line, one line only. He probably doesn't even know how to say it. They didn't even name him, but they taught him putting on the Ritz. To look like Gary Cooper. Oh, my, oh my. 
<laughs> okay, it gets two lines. Dwellers <laughs> in their midst. I will never hear this song the same again. So funny. He's like, hey, old buddy, old pal, you're doing great. Let's do a song, you know, a quick tap number. I've created this thing out of, I'm bringing him back to life. And what am I going to do? Teach him jazz. We need a choreograph number for the science convention. Then everybody will believe, you know, in the mysteries that I can solve. This scene makes it all worth it. Absolutely. I wish we could have seen the rehearsals of them, you know, practicing this. Oh, no, the fire. Fire's his trigger. For safety's sake, don't humiliate him. He's a very fragile ego. This is much better than the windmill scene. Oh my god. <laughs> Crowd time. See you later. Oh dear. He just can't be tamed. It's like I had one glorious night where I was loved. Now I'm back in chains. If only there was some way I could mm. relieve this torture you are going Oh my. Spicy, spicy scenes. <laughs> Spicy scene indeed. Oh my. Orders cable came while you <laughs> prepare her womb at once. I suggest you put on a tie. <laughs> She's the best. So funny. Well, let's turn in. Oh. Darling. Yes. Say nothing. Act casual. <laughs> intellectual discussions aren't we as a matter of fact we were just having fun as you were doing <laughs> that's enough of that yeah shh, shh. The in the oh. <laughs> 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 oh, just bonks over that <laughs> you had to taunt him have you learned nothing Aren't I think that it is just about time that we had one! <laughs> yeah, the town's rioting again like we saw. Okay. We must burn a Frankenstein! What? <laughs> you can almost touch it. Yes! <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I can be totally and unashamedly and legally yours. That's a tough choice. <laughs> oh, you love me? Oh, oh, I oh, love oh. you, honey. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very ferocious hairbrushing. Glory, yeah. glory, hallelujah. Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm glad there's some similarities between the original film. I wasn't sure what the approach would be, so it's definitely nice to see. I'm glad I watched the original first. I think if I hadn't seen it before I watched this, it would have been uh, an interesting experience. <laughs> What are you? What do you, what do you want? What do you want to do to me? I don't think you want to know the answer to that question. Call. Speak! Speak! Why don't you speak? He's like, all I know is putting on the red. It's a very limited vocabulary. Oh my god! Woof! Oh, oh my. Frankenstein. I mean, oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh. She's got a lovely singing voice. I think Frankenstein's gonna be very upset that the monster has deflowered his lady. He's oh, <laughs> just making those sounds. <laughs> He's got two cigarettes and they come out of like the heart shaped transition. Oh my gosh. Penny for your thoughts. Mm. You little zipper neck. <laughs> <laughs> like a charming nickname and accurate he actually has a zipper for a neck seven has always been my lucky number oh my over here you hot monster oh my so spicy don't touch him he wants to do it by himself oh god that's a harsh lesson to learn right now <laughs> Please fight. and i love how you can see his like bald cap in his hair so ridiculous let him do it for himself. Let him pull himself to safety, even though he's like seven feet tall. Fuck your lives. 
Yeah. Dramatic pause. I'm gonna transfer him to uh, the doctor's brain. Oh my god. More or less. Oh, you got this angry mob coming after you, so you better hurry up. No! No! Seven seconds shy. Oh shoot! It didn't work. It's the monster. Nah, it can't be. It is. I said, put that. <laughs> oh, it worked. Okay. To offer you my hand in friendship. He's <laughs> like, now that you can communicate, you know, we accept you. Let us all go to my house for a little sponge cake or a little wine. <laughs> <laughs> that sound. To the lumberyard! <laughs> Pointing with his own hand for sponge cake and wine. Oh, bye, doctor. What? I'll be right back. He faked his death so he could marry his lab assistant? Uh, honey, honey, I hope you didn't find daddy's little party too boring. I mean, he did it just... <laughs> now he's like married, reading the Wall Street Journal. Just like civilized domestic life. <laughs> I haven't seen Bride of Frankenstein, but I know that hair is associated with that one. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> They're just using these separate lives. What an ending. Igor is just playing this old tune. Gene Hackman was the blind man? What? Really? So that was my first time watching the 1974 Mel Brooks film, Young Frankenstein. I really liked it. It was super funny, super ridiculous. Definitely everything you'd expect from a Mel Brooks movie. I need to watch more of his films. Everything I've seen of his so far, I've really enjoyed, but I know he has a ton, so I definitely need to watch more. I was so glad Gene Wilder was in this. He's great. Um, I really like his performances. I think he can do dramatic well. I think he can do comedy well. He's just so talented and Cloris Leachman was in this only for a few scenes but I still feel like she stole every scene she was in I've never seen her in anything like this before so it was great to see her character and then in the end credits it listed Gene Hackman as the blind man which was crazy I never would have expected him to be in anything like this but it was so great to see and that whole scene between the blind man and the monster was hilarious pouring the soup in his lap and then you know as he's running away saying oh god I want to make you an espresso and just so funny I didn't recognize the actor who played Elizabeth or Igor or the other lab assistant so yeah comment below what would I know them from I'm definitely glad I watched the original 1931 Frankenstein before I watched this I feel like a lot of the references and a lot of material would have been lost I haven't seen Bride of Frankenstein and the only nod to that movie that I noticed in this was her hairstyle I have seen like a poster from that movie and I know she's got the really long tall hair with like the gray spikes in it or white considering it's black and white so uh, comment below if you think I should watch Bride of Frankenstein I wasn't expecting this to be in black and white either given in the time that it came out but I like that they did that and I don't know if it was for budgetary reasons if it was a nod to the 1930 version as that was in black and white as well but I really enjoyed it I don't mind watching black and white movies so it wasn't a problem I haven't read the book yet but I definitely need to especially watching you know a few versions of this Frankenstein movie now I like that they kept in you know they took a new approach to the movie it was basically the same premise as we see this guy you know tries to bring this creature back to life the brains get switched she uses an abnormal brain instead of a regular brain obviously they took a bunch of creative you know comedic roots but I like that they kept like the same plot basically as we see the grandson is now reliving his grandfather's fate so many funny scenes with this so many jokes I love the literal jokes I love all the puns and I didn't get that horse reference why the horses kept making noise every time they would say Cloris Leachman's character name so yeah comment below what that's about I think my favorite scene has to be the putting on the Ritz one when you know Frankenstein and the creature are dancing in this top hat and cane and it was just so ridiculous totally unexpected but just so funny it's like what can we do with this creature that would just make zero sense like he doesn't even have a name he you know is still terrified of fire like even when he's with Elizabeth later he's not talking like we don't see him talk in any other scenes in the movie he just only knows these few lines from this song and I wish we could have seen the rehearsals I think that would have been so funny of them practicing you know going up to this event but just the fact that that that's what the doctor wanted to do. He's like, I'm going to take the creature.
creature to the science convention. I'm going to show River Buddy, you know, how talented he is. And it starts off, you know, just him doing those few steps. And he's like, wait, but we, we got a show for you. And then the curtains come down and he comes out in his suit and his top hat and his cane. And he's doing his little tap number and singing. So funny, just so ridiculous. And of course, he's Frankenstein. So he's like super stiff and awkward. And they even call him Zipper Neck at one point because he's a literal zipper on his neck. That scene was hilarious. I was just laughing the entire time. And I also love when they had that domestic scene with the creature, you know, at home in bed, reading the newspaper, you know, talking to his wife and, you know, just kind of like grunting, which I think still relates. And I kind of wish that had been its own show at some point, like a weird sitcom where it's like Frankenstein trying to be domestic and civilized and, you know, live in normal society. It's just so funny and so ridiculous. And I love that Mel Brooks decided to go there and to take this, you know, monster and put him in everyday life and just put him in these ridiculous situations. I was worried they were going to recreate that scene with a little girl by the lake in the first one in this one and we see the creature go up to this little girl throwing flowers into the well and I was like oh god this is gonna get well, this is gonna go badly but then they just turns out to be playing and go on the seesaw and we see her fly into a room and her parents you know everything's fine so I like that they kept that aspect of it but just made it obviously comedic we have the town riots again except this time it's being led by a man with a wooden arm and they even use his whole body to try and break down the door to get in to the castle and every time he lifts his arm you know they have to put it down for him and that scene where they're playing darts just so ridiculous and it's just I find in Mel Brooks movies it's not necessarily what they're saying that's so funny it's just how they're saying it like his delivery and even the way Frankenstein when he's like it's not Frankenstein it's Frankenstein and even Igor is like it's Igor and wouldn't I call you Froderick and just like the funny ways they just pronounce things and just adding in all those dumb jokes I love that definitely my style of humor I loved that they kept in the it's alive it's alive line in this that's such an iconic line from the first one and at first I thought they were trying to do a different version of that when they were like bring this thing I want to life and I was like okay they're trying to have their version of it's alive but then we did hear the actual it's alive scene when the creature comes back to life with the title of young Frankenstein I was thinking maybe it would have been our original Frankenstein doctor but when he was like younger or growing up or something like that but I really like like this approach as well you know it's decades later it's his grandson and who wants nothing to do with this legacy obviously he's trying to stay as far away as possible from you know his grandfather's reputation and then ends up being very much like him and he's like oh it is possible he finds a secret library and he's like oh we could actually do this this I could be you know a genius in my field and let me you know go through these crazy experiments I loved Igor's character as well so funny how he kept breaking the fourth wall and like giving little nods to the audience and his like accent would come in and out but I didn't care and his like hump would change sides but he was just so funny and even when he picks up you know the doctor at the train station he's like walk like me and then hands him his cane and it's like no you need to like walk like I walk and it's just so funny and just add another comedic element to this movie it was a pretty small cast just like the original one and that scene where they like pan across all the heads on the shelf where it's like two years dead one year yet six years dead and they get to Igor and he's like freshly dead he's just put his head in the hole like just so ridiculous so funny I I was not expecting that brain transfer scene at the end where they try and you know save the creature and it sounds like they tried to switch the doctor's brain into the creature's brain but seven seconds left and of course the townspeople show up right at that moment and pull the plug so it sounds like parts have transferred over and other parts transferred over to the doctor which was interesting comment below are there sequels are there remakes or anything like that I know this came out a while ago but I haven't heard of anything recently I know there is other Frankenstein movies that came out um before this but uh, yeah I'm very curious if anybody's tried to recreate this one overall I really enjoyed it so funny I'm so glad I finally watched this I definitely need to watch more Mel Brooks films he's just hilarious and definitely like my style of humor just so goofy and ridiculous I love that Gene Wilder was in this he's so talented it was great to see him in this and I think he is hilarious I love that they kept in elements from the first film with the grave robbery you know the brain transplant he takes the abnormal one and all the lightning strikes strikes and the platform that raises and Frankenstein is still terrified of fire so I really love all those nods to the original and I feel like the people who've seen the original appreciate that really well done so funny I really enjoyed it thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content
Gonna shake his hand with the dead guy's hand. I always hump his move sides. Slip brains through slot and door. Is it a wooden hand? A yummy sound. Oh, a little violin music to calm the beast. On a seesaw. And he's just got a zipper on his neck. He's like, all I know is putting on the rest. It's a very limited vocabulary. Mean something in German that's like a horse command or something. 